Hi, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. So, we love cameras, right? Of course, uh, big Nikon channel here, but what is one of the aspects of our camera system that we really just don't give a tremendous amount of thought to, and we're not really overly enthusiastic about having to buy parts for and things like that? Well. For me, and probably for you, quite frankly, it's the battery, right? So battery is just one of those required components of your camera that you have to have. And, you know, in terms of batteries, we do have, of course, the Nikon battery, and then there are third-party batteries. But generally, in my experience, I've always found that third-party batteries weren't really worth the time. And that's why I was so excited when I heard about Small Rig, which is a company that has been a partner with Nikon, especially uh, for example, like on their Z30 launch, uh, Small Rig had a cage for that camera that came out in conjunction with that camera for Nikon. So they are a company that does work with Nikon. And so they produced an ENEL15 battery for your Nikon Z6, Z7, Z62, you know, back all the way back to your, your D850s, uh, your mirrored cameras, works with your Z8, etc. So they have that and an EL20, EN EL25, which works with your Z50, uh, your uh, Z30, ZFC. Right, so what makes these batteries kind of interesting? Well, they've added some things to these batteries that caught my attention, and I think that they are going to catch your eye too. So let's talk about them a little bit. So first off, here's one. This is the, of course, the EN EL15 replacement battery. And on the surface, it looks just like any other Nikon battery, right? And it is this nice distinctive gray, which I like because it stands out from my Nikon batteries. And same thing, here's our EN EL25 for your Z30, Z50, ZFC. And again, distinctive gray color, so we're not confusing it with our OEM or original equipment batteries, right? So, a couple of things about these batteries though. First off, they are chipped. So what does that mean? Okay, well, basically what it means is it's fully compatible with your Nikon camera. You're not gonna get a pop-up warning on the screen that says, it's uh, an unrecognized third-party camera battery that you know could damage your your equipment right so it is chipped and because it's chipped it will also display on your camera the correct percentage of battery that's remaining battery life that's remaining right within uh, in your camera so that's great same thing with the 25 okay a few things uh, that I did want to tell you about so built into it high voltage protection, high temperature protection, overcharge protection, overload protection, short circuit, high current, and over discharge protection. So we don't really need to worry too much about these batteries. And that's certainly something that you would always be concerned with with aftermarket batteries would be overcharging them and things like that. Because a lot of times when you're buying an aftermarket battery, well, it's a question mark, right? We have no idea what's put in those batteries if there's a chip in there monitoring the health of these batteries and quite honestly the safety of these batteries right so uh, it also features a uh, very fast charging time so they've doubled what well, what they say is doubling the current uh, for super fast charging for these batteries okay so they're using uh, PD 3.0 via USB-C to charge these batteries so let's talk about that for a second because to me this is where they've changed the game with these batteries. And this is why I think you're gonna to wanna to have a look at these batteries as well. So, looks like a regular battery, right? And, you know, EN EL15 battery. But if you look very closely right here, you're gonna see that there is a USB-C charging point on the outside of this battery. So I can literally take an external battery pack or, or plug it into a wall and just plug this battery in just like that. And I am now charging this battery. Okay, so with just an external 
battery pack, right? So why is that so amazing to me? Well, it means, let's say I'm photographing an event and I have that battery in my camera. I use it till it's close to exhausted. Of course, I'm not gonna use it till it's exhausted, but close to it, right, as it starts to get low. I'm gonna pop it out and put in another battery. Well, now I can simply connect that battery to a USB-C battery pack and charge it back up. So while I'm now shooting with that other battery in the camera, I'm recharging this battery. And should my battery get low in the camera, that, that's that replacement battery, now I can go back to my first battery and hopefully by then it's fully charged or very close to fully charged. And I can pull that out and start shooting with that battery again. So that to me is a game changer, being able to charge your battery on the fly, on location, without having to look for a plug or an electrical outlet or needing a charger with you, you just need a battery pack. And I always have a battery pack with me, so I don't need to worry so much about that. So a few things about that battery, the ENEL15C. Uh, works for you, it's D7200, D810, Z5, D500, 610, Z62, Z8, 780, your A10, uh, A7500, A, your et cetera. Um, of course, your Z6, your Z7 as well, which isn't mentioned, Z72, right? So 2400 milliamp hour battery. So the one that you get that comes with your camera from Nikon is a 2280 milliamp hour battery. So this battery is slightly more powerful than the Nikon battery that comes with your camera. Um, again, it does have that USB-C charging point on the back and it is, uh, as I mentioned, fully decoded with the chip, so no pop-up warnings. So a couple of other things I did want to mention in terms of battery life. So let's take a look at that battery. That battery on the Nikon Z6 in uh, SEPA tests is rated for 310 shots. However, this small rig battery is rated for 400 shots. That's its SEPA rating. Now, I didn't test this. And I'll tell you why. First off, to accurately test this, you know, when, when a battery is SEPA tested, it is in a controlled environment. So we're talking about controlled humidity, controlled temperature, um, and all sorts of factors influence whether or not you're gonna get, you know, 310 or, or out of this battery, 400 shots. And again, th those things are, of course, the temperature. That's, the, that's one of the biggest ones, but you know, are you in airplane mode? Are you connected to SnapBridge? Do you have your rear view display on? Are you reviewing images? Are you shooting in live view mode? Are you recording video or are you taking stills? Are you doing a combination of both? There's a million things that go into what's going to affect how many shots you're going to get out of the battery. But I will tell you that I use this battery in a Z6, a Z62, and a Z8. And I honestly noticed no difference uh, it didn't discharge any faster or, uh, you know, and, and honestly, I didn't perceive it even lasting longer per se, but my experience was good. Okay. And, and that's all I can tell you. It, to me, it performed the same or better than a regular Nikon battery would have, but I had a lot less money and the ability to charge via USB-C. So that's pretty awesome. And then in terms of this one here, your EN. EL25, and the same thing, you see that USB-C charging port there, right? In terms of this battery, so from Nikon, tested on a Z50, uh, this battery is also rated for 400 shots. And the one that you get with the Nikon camera is 1120 milliamp hours. Uh, this battery is 1250 milliamp hours. So again, uh, a percentage more powerful than the battery that came with your camera. So that's great, but hey, you know what? All these things are cool, but let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so let's take a look at the ENEL15C replacement battery. It's got that distinctive gray color. It looks like your standard battery until you flip it over and you see that USB-C port. Just plug it in to a battery pack if I can there and you see that red light illuminates to show you that the battery is charging and even with the cap on you're going to see you can still see that red light and that light will turn green 
when the battery is fully charged, which is also a nice touch. So it's very clear as to whether or not it's charged. Okay, just remove that. And the same thing with the EN EL25 battery. It looks like the standard battery until you flip it and see that USB-C port. Same thing, plug it in. Red when it's charging, green when it's full. But no, can't put the cap on on this one because the port is, of course, in the way. So the other thing I wanted to show you, let's unplug this. And there is the small rig ENEL15 battery charger. So it'll take the small rig battery or regular Nikon ENEL15, uh, 15B or 15C batteries. And you can see it's got a nice little display there. The round circles indicate, indicate how charged the battery is. And you can see some other statistics about the battery and the battery life there on the screen. So that's great. And this is only like less than $11 on B&H Photo for this charger. So I definitely recommend grabbing one of these. And let me show you the back. So you don't even have to have a cable with you. Let me flip that over. It actually comes with a USB-A cable. So it should work with just about any battery pack. But you do get more voltage with C. So if you can use a USB-C cable, that's great. But... If you have a battery pack, just plug it in and you are good to go. And I highly recommend using that or charging the ENEL15 battery with the USB-C cable or the small rig charger and not the Nikon charger. And here's why. So you see the battery actually gets stuck inside the standard Nikon charger. And you do have to use a significant amount of force to get it out. It will come out, but... Like I said, it, it, does, uh, it does require some bit of force. And so what's happening is there's a little tab inside the Nikon charger that holds the battery in place right there. The battery seems to get stuck on that clip right there. All right, so I hope that you have found this information helpful. And if you did, please consider subscribing. That'll help uh, allow me to continue to bring you new content. I did speak to Small Rig about the battery and I let them know about the battery getting stuck. And they said they didn't have other reports of that happening to other users. So it is possible that that's just a manufacturing defect in my particular battery. However, like I said, I would seriously think about just spending the extra $10 at B&H Photo and get that Small Rig charger because it is going to be able to charge up two batteries. And again, it's also USB-C and regular USB-A compatible. So... I think it's a great thing to have either way. So hope you found this useful. I appreciate you watching as always. Feel free to leave me comments down below in the video and let me know what you think about this, this battery and definitely let me know if you get it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks YouTube. See you soon. Bye-bye.